here are four overbite correction methods and when to consider them. Number one, this is probably the most common. You use rubber bands. Not just by themselves. You use rubber bands with the braces or the Invisalign. When you would use rubber bands are if the overbite correction is somewhat small. We don't want huge overbite corrections. It just probably becomes less predictable because rubber bands require compliance. So if you're not willing to be compliant and wear the rubber bands like you're supposed to, then it's not going to work. Second method is called a class two corrector. Technically, rubber bands could be a class two corrector or an overbite corrector, but they can be used for lots of different things. So in this case, I'm referring to to either a glued in device or a removable device that postures your lower jaw forward. The most common glued in device is the herpes. When I say the most common, it is a well researched device in the orthodontic industry. And we use it here in our office, but you have other devices like the Mara. Both of those get glued in and they posture the jaw forward for those of us who have deficient lower jaws. The other type of class two correction is a removable one, like the twin block where Invisalign has a mandibular advancement feature where it, you can take the appliance in and out, but when it's in, it forces you or it reminds you to posture for because you can't bite down the right way when it's in. This option, right, is particularly good for those patients who are growing still. Growing patients haven't gone through their adolescent growth spurt or are in the process of going through their adolescent growth spurt, this is very good. Third option, option is extractions plus rubber bands. People that are not growing anymore, that have top teeth that stick out, may be good candidates for taking out top teeth in order to pull the top teeth back to reduce the excessive overbite. And finally is surgery. What? Yes, surgery sometimes is the best, most predictable option to help a non-growing patient reduce their overbite completely and get to a stable bite. So there you have it. If you have overbite or friends that do, show them this video. Consider coming to find us so that we can talk about your overbite in ways that we can help. But if not, consider subscribing to the channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO so you know where you're going. Pack it out.